Roswell Flight Test Crew here at Exponential 2019 in Chicago, the Windy City, the city of broad shoulders. And I'm here with our friend Ryan Henderson from the University of Maryland. How you doing, Ryan? Hey, I'm doing just fine, Patrick. Good to see you, good to see you. Now, you guys have just very recently accomplished something truly extraordinary. What is it? We delivered the first transplantable organ via unmanned aircraft over the city of Baltimore. Pretty amazing. How far did it have to go? The total flight path was 2.6 miles, just under three miles. Now, a lot of people are going to say, why didn't you put it in a car or an ambulance? We absolutely could have done that. But we had a lot of test points that we are trying to learn from here. First and foremost, organ delivery is done with a doctor. In the case of unmanned aircraft, obviously, we don't have a doctor on board, so we need to figure out how to do that. In this situation, Dr. Joe Scalia had created a device called a Hommel, and the Hommel attaches to the payload device and monitors the vitals of the organ the entire time it's in flight. It's taking lots of data that they can use to understand how good that organ is when it lands on the other end. I guess I'd be concerned, there's a lot of vibration on a multi-rotor. Was there any concern the organ could be damaged by the process of being moved this way? Absolutely, so after three years of research and testing, the data showed that the vibrations and the ride on our unmanned aircraft were actually really good in comparison to other modes of traditional transportation like full-size helicopters, fixed-wing aircraft, ambulance, so on and so forth. And so who was flying this mission? It was a collaborative effort. I'm the lead uh, chief pilot for the University of Maryland UAS test site, so I sent the aircraft off. We did have another pilot on the receiving end there as in case of any kind of emergency, in case they needed to intervene. But we are uh, happy to say it was a successful flight. The entire flight was autonomous from takeoff to flight path to landing, and uh, neither myself nor the uh, backup pilot had to intervene in any kind of way. Now you mentioned this was almost a three mile flight. Was this beyond visual line of sight? It was almost beyond visual line of sight, but part of the regulations and rule set that we were flying under was a COA. And that COA stipulated that when we did this flight, and keep in mind this was an organ that uh, needed to be transplanted, and you don't typically plan for these things too far in advance, so we were all on standby. Our COA stipulated that we needed to do this flight at night, and, uh, and there's a variety of reasons for that. Uh, so at night, what do we have? We have strobe lights, bright LEDs. That enhances the ability for us to see the aircraft far beyond what we would typically be able to see the aircraft during daylight hours. So we were able to see the aircraft for the entire duration of the flight. Now is this just sort of a one-off or do you think drones are going to have a role to play with delivering organs in the future? Is there any advantage to doing it this way? I absolutely think that drones are going to have uh, a, a role in the future for organ delivery. Uh, right now, we've got fantastic air transport and it does a really, really good job, but with organ transplant, uh, the procedures and process for which it's done is, to my understanding, it's a little bit old and there can be a lot more efficiencies built into it. For every hour it's out of the body, it deteriorates. So the more efficient we can be, with that organ, as soon as it leaves one person and gets to the next person, that's adding life hours to the recipients. And over time, that's gonna add up to thousands and thousands of life hours to future transplant recipients. Well, Ryan, it's simply amazing. And I must confess, I feel like I'm sitting with the Charles Lindbergh of Oregon Delivery here. Really an amazing accomplishment. Thanks for sharing it with us. Thanks a lot, Patrick. We were really, really happy to be a part of the project. We're trying to move things forward and hopefully save some lives. That's wonderful. Ryan, thanks so much. Thank you, sir. All right, and from Exponential 2019 in Chicago, this is the Roswell Flight Test Crew, signing off. Thanks.